everyone welcome back to my channel this is amy ray of amy ray plans and today i have a plan with me for the week of february 13th through february 19th this is the week of valentine's day so this week i'm using this kit called little valentine from scribble prints co love the boxes love the colors love all of the patterns just a very beautiful kit super cute deco and then this is the kit freebie another um double box scene so it's going to be hard to pick boxes and then i have the doodle samplers and the foil bundle i'm pairing this with is sparkly red star so you have the full box overlays and the header overlays two sheets of those two sheets of the bougie boxes the scripts and the icons bottom washi um, like a washi overlay, the washi overlays, date squares, um, deco, and header overlays. Now, as you notice, there is no red, sparkly red in the bottom washi. That is because I messed up both overlays going down, and it was just a huge mess, and I'm very upset about it. But what I ended up doing was putting some Simply Gilded washi down, and then using this, um washi strip from SPC. Is it my favorite? No. Would I have preferred the sparkly red? Yes, but I do really like, still like how it came out. And then I have some extras of this foil bundle from when I first used it that we can pull in as well. And then let's get started with boxes as per usual. So we have a bunch to choose from. So let's see, there will be seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So let's see, one, two, three, four, um, five, six, all right, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then I have to decide between these and these. Um, I think I'm gonna go with these ones and we will save these for like my daily duo or something like that. All right, so let's get the full box. I mean, the um, double boxes down first. When there are double boxes, I always like to put them down first. When there's two double boxes in a kit, I usually, or like I always do them Wednesday, Thursday, and then Saturday, Sunday. Um, what was I going to say? So, this week that I'm filming in, I've been recovering from a bladder infection. So, it hasn't been the most fun week, but... We are pushing through. Um, let's see. I think I want to use this as the box up top. I try to put it as close to the top as possible so I have room for everything. But of course, I put it down crooked. Because what would... What would a plan with me from Amy Ray Plans be without crooked stickers? It would be a miracle. That's what it would be. Um, let's figure out. Uh, sorry, I'm looking for my head. I'm looking for my header overlay or my headers, and they were right in front of me. But I was looking in a different pile. All right, so let's actually. We're just gonna do them. Um, the way that they are set up. I don't always do them in this order. Usually I pick like my favorite color, um, but actually I don't need to put them right there. I just need to do the ones in the sidebar. Cause when I change them up and I don't do them in order, then I put in the four down and then I do the ones in the sidebar. That way I'm not like messing up the order, if that makes sense. 
All right, and then, so we have, right, three, four, five, six, four, okay. Um, let's do the super cute coffee tray on Monday. Um, let's do the donuts in the sidebar. Actually, I should have done that as, I don't know what I'm doing. And then let's do the bear. Where's my headers? So yeah, at first, um, so this was the day when I got my antibiotics and everything, and they said it was a bladder infection, UTI. And then this day, the pain was so bad that I thought maybe they misdiagnosed it and that it was a kidney infection because the symptoms of like a bladder infection and a kidney infection are very similar. Um, but then Wednesday, I started to feel better. Um, so after the two full days of antibiotics. Um, Cause if I didn't feel better on Wednesday, I was gonna call the doctor back and ask if it was like, maybe could be a kidney infection. Cause the symptoms are like very similar for those two things. Um, let's do this one over here. And then, so I didn't film at all Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. Um, I'm like caught up on filming. This was the only video I needed to film this week. Um, it's Thursday that I'm filming this and this goes up on Sunday. Um, but yeah, I was like um, very, like in a lot of pain Monday and Tuesday. And it was weird because I felt like I was in more pain Tuesday than I was Monday, but I had already had like a full day's worth of antibiotics. So I thought that was a little strange, but now I am recovering. And tomorrow it's Friday and I am going to um, watch my best friend's daughter for a half hour while she is um, the like parent speaker. She's reading a book to her son's class, he's in first grade. And then um, after that, when she's done, we're gonna go to some stores. We always go to like the same stores, like Target, like TJ Maxx, Michaels, stores like that. Um, sometimes Walmart, Home Goods. we like that store. And I love getting to spend time with her. And her daughter is six months now. And she's so cute. I got her when we hung out in um, January. I got her this cute little outfit from Target. It's like these overalls and they're Valentine's Day themed. So they have, it's like red and it has um, hearts all over it. And she posted her um, six months pictures and she used that outfit for one of them. And I was like, oh my gosh, she's so adorable. And then in the other one, she's wearing like this cute tutu. And I was like, she's too too cute in my comment that I wrote. Um, other than that, this week has been very lazy. Like I said, I was recovering, so I watched a lot of TV, did some reading. Wasn't even on the computer that much, so I'm behind on watching YouTube videos. I just felt like laying in my bed and resting, which makes sense since I was sick. Um, after this, I am going to either, depending on, like, if my cat wants to spend time with me, I will either, um, watch some TV or go on the computer. Uh, this weekend, I don't have any plans. We're watching the Super Bowl at home, like we usually do, so we just got some snacks for it. Um, I am hoping that the Chiefs win. And yeah, then this week that we're planning 
it, my, um, why do I feel like I messed up on these headers? So, let's see, four. No, I didn't. I don't know why it feels like I did. I actually kind of wished I moved this one and did like pink, red, and then those two colors, but I'm not going to go back and put them all up, pick them all up now. All right, so that is done, and I will go into the bougie boxes before I do the overlays. Actually, let's do, I always say actually a lot in my videos, and I also go like, and then a lot. All right, let's do full box overlays first. And I like to start with the double boxes. So let's do this one here. When it's like um, overcast outside and I do these, I'm always like, it's not as bright in my room. So I feel like they have a better chance of going crooked. Um, but yeah. Um, I don't know which pattern I want on the other two. Maybe we'll do these. I feel like I shouldn't have used those, um, because, like, it cuts, like, I don't know. I'm like weird with my full box overlays. Let's face it, I'm just weird in general, but um, all right, let's see. Let's do this one over here. Okay, and then since those are done on that side, I will finish out this side. Yeah, and then this week is the week of Valentine's Day, um, but I don't have any plans. I think maybe one of these days I'm going to be going shopping with my mom, but I'm not positive on that yet. I always get quiet when I, oh, that went sideways. Um, let's see. Like, all the overlays for this box are going to, like, cut things off, but I don't have a choice. But, like, this food box, forget, like, flowers on Valentine's Day. Just get me, like, a charcuterie board of chocolates and candies like that. This is cute. It says, I don't know what I would do without you. Oh, it's so stinking cute. All right. Let's see. Which one do we want on the bear? Um, I probably shouldn't have done this one here because I have that one right there. But oh, oh. And then we have one more left. Um, I guess we will do this one. Okay. Now, they all have that. Let me start with, um, the extra header overlays. I love this pattern. This star, sparkly red. I feel like sparkly red and like blue, blue hollow, sparkly blue, blue hollow is like are my favorite, um, whatchamacallit, favorite, um, foil, fun foil colors. Um, I just love sparkly red. And I was saying, I think in my February kit lineup, besides like Valentine's Day and Christmas, 
I feel like red is not used in like, oh, and like 4th of July, but like, I feel like red is not used in like any time kits or other seasonal or like kits in general. And I wish that it was because I love red. I don't think I always love red. I think I got into the color red like when I was planning because I just think red stickers and like I said, red foil and stuff look really pretty together. Um, Sorry, I'm like shaking the... I noticed that like when I go back and re-watch my videos, um, cause I like to see like where I can improve and stuff. And usually I just need to stop saying like, um, and then, and actually. Um, but I feel like sometimes, even though like my tripod is like sturdy in the base and stuff, I feel like, if I move like the table and stuff while I am putting stickers down, it um, shakes. So like the video looks shaky, but I don't know like how to fix that because I obviously have to work at the table while, um, ooh, that went down super crooked. I don't like that. Um, she actually came out with a confetti red, sparkly red. I was able to pick up one, but I think she said there's only, like, I forget what day she posted it, but she said there was only, like, I think 15 or so bundles left, and she wasn't planning on restocking it. Um, so I only got one, and it was in, like, the confetti. But, um, wait, why is it? Okay. So, yeah, I don't know. I probably will only get one in the confetti, but I'm pretty sure she still has some red ones. And I will do the foiled deco off camera. It's just easier doing it up close and personal. Like, so I could be like this and like, um, so we don't need these pages anymore. And then next, or like for right now. And then let's do the bougie boxes. And after that, we will do the pre-plans. Oh wait, I have to do deco. Let's do deco before we do bougie boxes. Um, again, not my, like I love the deco, but it's a little bit bigger. And I mention this in every plan with me, but I am not good at cutting deco because I'll either like cut through it or if you can see here, I'll cut my page. So if you see right here, the page is uneven because when I was cutting the deco off on the last spread, I cut the paper, which I tend to do more often than I would like to admit. All right, so let's, get started um and also i find that if it's bigger deco it's harder for me to be able to use as much as i would like because um like of the sizing if that makes sense let's i definitely want the charcuterie board it was so funny i was showing my dad my spreads and or like my planner last year I brought it up when I was visiting and he was like, why do all these boxes have like food on them? I was like, dad, food boxes are the best. Like he was like, why do they all have like food and food elements? He was so funny. And I was like trying to explain to him. It was so cute. He was so silly. He's like, why do they all have to do with food? I was like, dad, you just don't get it, dad. And then like my nephews will tease me. They'll be like, and Amy, I think you're the only person in the world who does planning with stickers. And I'm like, and I'm like, just keep telling yourselves that. Alrighty, let's see. Trying to get 
get as much as possible. Like usual, I try to use as much of the deco as possible because it's all just so cute. So I guess I'll put that one down here because I don't want to, if I put that right there, the, um, like, the frosting would pop off. Like, there's so much, but I'm not able to use it all. Um, I guess we'll use some smaller pieces right here. Then I have to figure out what piece I want there. Let's do the mailbox. And then I have, like, one more piece I could pop down. So, like, see, like, all of that deco didn't get... Oh, I have a... Just kidding, JK, JK. Forgot I had some room on this side. All right, and I really like the bear, but I also really like these flowers. All right, there we go. Now I'll just use those in my um, like Daily Duo Petite Planner, which is where I use my, I mean, my Daily Duo and my Petite Planner, which is where I use my extra stickers. Now for the hard part for me, cutting the excess deco off. Wish me luck. Okay. That was the only two pieces in there. And now I have like this piece. I am a little sad that there's no sparkly red on the bottom, but at least like I paired it with some cute stuff to like hopefully not look too out of place even though I am not using silver with this. Ooh, actually don't think I cut the page on that. Progress. For like one spread, watch next week I'll cut the page again. <laughs> It's a struggle. All right. Um, I had meant to put up a box um, asking for questions. Oh, but before I forget, since we're almost like done with this video, um, I recently reached 300 subscribers on YouTube. So I am hosting a giveaway on my Instagram. Um, I am Amy Ray Plans 5 on Instagram. Um, it's the same as my YouTube, except for my YouTube, I don't have the five. Um, but it's a really great giveaway. So I myself, let me grab it real quick. Sorry, that was my share. Um, I am giving, in the giveaway, I am giving away a Coffee Monsters Co. Binder. I don't have any of, like, the extras that went with this that you could add, like, the page protectors or um, dividers and stuff. But I believe either at the end of this month or March or April, sometime soon, she's coming back with her binders and the accessories for them. And then I am giving away this Ultimate Planning Pack in the Watercolor Stripes from Erin Condren. And this super cute notepad. Um that I got actually in the airport um, when I was visiting my family and it's magnetic. I don't use the magnetic, I just write on it because I have one of these as well. Um, but that's what I'm giving away. And then I reached out to some of my favorite shops and they all kindly, um, I asked them if they would um, be interested in donating shop credit. So you will be winning shop credit to Crest Press, Scribble Prince Co., Coffee, The Coffee Monsters Co., Grin and Barrett Plans, and Christy Ann Designs. So it's a super fun giveaway, um, and I am excited for whoever wins. All you have to do is go on that Instagram post. I pinned it to my profile, so it should be easy to find. 
and um, it runs until February 20th. And I, all you have to do is comment on that post saying you want to enter and be subscribed to my YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram. And then that's it. And then when I pick a winner, I'm gonna use that like generator that like, it's like the spinning wheel. You like enter all the names in the generator um, and then it spins and lands on someone. I just found that was the easiest when I hosted my last giveaway. So yeah, um, I hope you consider entering. Like I said, it's a super fun giveaway. I wish I could win my own giveaway, um, but sadly that can't happen, but I'm happy for whoever does win it. Um, so yeah, once I reached 300, I started reaching out to the shops because um, I knew which shops I wanted to reach out to. All right, so bougie boxes are done, and next up is pre-plans. And I have a few things to do this, or to mark this week. I have my monthly infusion, two birthdays, two birthdays, and then Valentine's Day. All right, so first up is Tuesday, which is Valentine's Day. But first, I'm going to mark that it is my cat, Davy Eli's 15th birthday. Um... I wanted to use, I don't know how I want to mark this. I think I'm just going to write, instead of using happy birthday script, I'm just going to write in how, because I want to write how old he is. Um, oh, I know what I could do. I can use, hold on. Hi, Dave. Speaking of the birthday boy, he just came up my stairs. All right, I was going to, use like the one five from the, I mean, not the one five. I was just gonna use the 15 from the date squares, but I think that'll look silly. Um, so. I'm nixing that idea, but let's see. All right, so on here, I know we have, a, oh, I think I'm gonna mark it with a paw print. That would be cute, okay. Sometimes I mark it with like a birthday theme sticker, and sometimes I mark it with like a cat theme sticker. All right, so let's use this patterned one. It has little hearts on it, so that's cute. What are you doing, Dave? All right, so I'll use that. Oh, and then I just realized the paw print is that color. Oops. Um, and we'll do it anyway. We will. I wish there was like a foiled paw print in the bundle, but alas, there is not. So for this, I'm going to write... Davy Eli is 15. Cute. And then for Valentine's Day, I know I have a script. I don't have sparkly red, but I know I have um, So I have this one. I can't, oh, maybe I can use a piece of deco to mark Valentine's Day. Let's see. Yeah, let's use like the Be Mine teddy bear. That would be cute. Sometimes I have good ideas. All right, let's get a box. A box, a box, a box. All right, so let's use this pink one, this light pink. And where was that piece of deco? Yeah, I'm gonna use the Be Mine teddy bear. Again, it matches with the box, but oh well. 
Um, and then I have this script that says a Valentine's Day. And this is from Letters to Apollo. Cute. I like that. So that is the 14th. And then let me just put a little thing down there because that is the only thing that's going to fit in that space. Um, so we have, let's use this one down here. Cute. And then next I have to mark on, fifth, on the 15th is my monthly infusion. So to mark that, we will use a label. I do tend to mark this usually with a label because it's, I sit in the chair for a little bit because it's um, an IV infusion, so. And then let's use the alarm clock. Of course, I feel like that's crooked. I feel like sometimes I think things are crooked even when they're not just because I put things down crooked a lot. And this is at 10 a.m. I need to get scripts that say infusion. Alrighty. And then lastly, on the 17th is my nephew's birthday. So I'm going to put that on this box. And I am going to use a birthday script from SPC. Okay. And this is my firstborn nephew, and he's going to be 19, which is super crazy to me. All right. And then let's see. I think there's a birthday present on here. Yes, but it's pink. So let's look in my birthday theme. Actually, I think in my leftovers binder, I have a sparkly red like present or cake that we can use. Let's see. Yes, I do. Let's use the sparkly red present. Pop that right in there. Um, that is from, like, when she had the circle icons. And then I'm just going to write his name underneath the happy birthday sticker. And that is everything for the week of Valentine's Day for pre-plans. So let me flip this out. So everything is from Scribble Prints Co. Except this script is from Letters to Apollo. And this washi is from Simply Gilded. The rest is Scribble Prints Co. I really love how it's turning out. I'm really glad I went with this foil color. Excuse me. I have hiccups. And I am excited to use this kit for the rest of the week. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you're all doing well and staying safe and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone. Thanks for watching.